innocent women being carried away by police officers was a crime, murder, or her men she did not commit. After being found with a bloody knife in her hands, within the man's mansion, who seems confused. Within the shadows, thickest trees of the forest, in that harsh rain, a peculiar raincoat hooded woman was looking at her and was watching her be taken away. Rain was pouring cats and dogs outside and endlessly till unthinkable happened to Sheba Hana. Nineteen, a most irresistible, breathtaking, luminous African American blind girl. Curly dark short hair, clean, clean white dress, and red Christmas sweater, a raincoat, and Nike shoes. And a can stick in her hands. Thunder was rumbling and rolling endlessly, but that didn't bother both of them. With tears, a boy, 21, Afro. Mixed British American rich kid curious man at her University of Columbia Buffy curly hair which was dark brunette blue shirt black suit and ran proof shoes and was tall. Sheba was deeply in love with him so much. Both of them were marching in that freezing rain under Tila's tightest umbrella. On their way home on that Desolated shortcut route. Unless Tares pushes her heart away from him on a watery, rainy, wet ground. After so another classmate of theirs on their way toward the way coming. Sheba, I believe it is over between us, Taris said. Excuse me? Over? And what do you mean by that? And look, I am wet. Please, I am begging you. Help me up, Sheba pleaded. Tares glanced at Sheba fiercely till both of them were interrupted by, hum by a familiar voice. Didn't you hurt him? Ridiculous blonde girl. And Tares is over you. Never will Tares lord a blonde girl like you. Clementine growled. Period. Clementine pushes Hannah further into the water of the cold rain. 
with rage as she smack a lesson at her out of Sheba, dipping her head into the dirty water. And her gorgeous, irresist irresistible curly hair became even messier. Anna cried bitterly as she overheard Titus and her horse nightmare marching away that harsh rain in that harsh rain.